morning everyone today i am shreyas kumar of class 10th studying in kendriya vidyalaya sector 31 d chandigarh is going to speak few points on biodiversity so there are three types of biodiversity that is genetic species and ecosystem diversity so genetic diversity is the amount of variation in genetic material that is dna deoxy ribonucleic acid within a species or a population so why is genetic diversity important genetic diversity is important because it helps in the evolution of new species it is useful in adaptation of adaptation to the changes in environmental condition it is also important for agricultural productivity and development now species diversity is a variation in the number and abundance of the species within a region the species richness depend largely on climatic conditions when a species is confined entirely to a particular area it is termed as an endemic species now ecosystem diversity basically ecosystem diversity is the assemblage and the interaction of species living together and the physical environment of a given area for example the landscapes like grasslands deserts mountain etc show ecosystem diversity so now what are biodiversity hotspots hotspots biodiversity hotspots is a region with a high level of endemic species that has experienced great loss of habitat colombia is characterized by high biodiversity with the highest rate of species by area unit worldwide about 10% of the species of the earth can be found in colombia so what are the causes for loss of diverse biodiversity basically there are major five problem climatic change or uh, climatic change population destruction of habitats invasive aligned species and over exploitation of the natural environment now let's have some look at major rivers of india here are the few major rivers of the india that are indus ganga brahmaputra godavari krishna mahanand mahanadi savanmati narmada and tapi now let us discuss few of this river in detail first of all the india's most important river that is the ganga the ganga river is located in the northern india that flows towards the border with bangladesh it is the longest river in india and flows for around 1569 miles from the himalayan mountain to the bay of bengal it is also significant to hindu as they consider it is it the most sacred river let's have a look at the river mahanadi it is basically located